Hello friends, in previous video we have learned how to implement product flavors in Android app and in this video we will learn and implement dimensions of product flavor in our project. So first learn what are the dimensions and why we need to implement it in our project. In previous video we have implemented build configuration pill configuration and product flavors so why would we need dimensions dimension is just like a group of configuration for example we can have configuration of uh, build configuration we can have configuration for minimum SDK we can have configuration for maximum SDK so let's say we have different values for all the three configuration for build configuration we let's say we have paid variable having true and false value we have minimum sdk for 23 and 25 and max sdk 27 and 29 so so for all these three configuration types we have to define six product flavors and that is very difficult to manage and we have quite a reputation in our code in case we have another max sdk version we will have too many pro product flavors so that will be very difficult to manage all so that's why dimensions comes and that allows us to group our configuration and reduce the definitions of flavors in our project so let's get started with the code so that we can understand how the dimensions and product flavor works so let's get started so in previous video we created two product flavors and one dimension so we are <coughs> creating two more dimensions for minimum SDK and maximum SDK and we will group them like this so we will define another product flavor in which we will define only our minimum SDK we will define another product flavor that uh, shows the second value for the minimum SDK, one is 24 and second is 25. Now we will define product two product flavors for the max SDK. We have defined two max SDK product flavors. 29 and 31 in dimension xxdk let's copy you can see max sdk as target sdk as well Now let's synchronize as you can see we have too many build variants created with which allows us to select any grouping way 
like we can select free version and minimum SDK 24 and max SDK 25 sorry 3029 and other build variants so let's check the this version we have already created a button in previous project and we will perf look and we will create an algorithm to read our target SDK and minimum SDK Now we have got the code and variable for target SDK and minimum SDK version. Now we will display and the toast. Now let's run the emulator and check. now let's click on the button to check and you can see it is showing the correct minimum SDK and target SDK version now let's change the build variant to check if our configuration is changed rerunning the application in app Now as you can see it is updated and it is showing minimum SDK and target SDK version as defined by the build variant. So that was the topic for the dimensions and product flavors. Hope you have learned something and if it was useful to you don't forget to subscribe and hopefully i will be sharing more techniques for the product flavors and more tutorials for the android applications so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe take care